Okay, I'm going to start editing this from Photoshop into Luminar. You can see I've already brought it through the raw converter in Photoshop and we're now going to tweak it a wee bit, play around with it. It's quite a nice image as it is without being edited. I'm going to play around with it just to let you see. Copy a layer up, filter, Skylum software, Luminar 3. First thing I'm going to do is the Sky Enhancer, just to bring out a, just a little bit more definition. If I go too far, we'll get clouds like that and I can see some purple tones coming through but not as much as I actually thought so we're getting quite a dramatic sky there I'll just leave it around there next thing I'm going to do is accent AI 2 filter just to bring up you can see the highlights been brought up in the trees and this just really shows you how quick this edit is going to be hue saturation and luminance we're going to pull the blues back which will affect some of the sky pull the luminance back give me a grey more kind of brooding sky in here. I'm just zooming in every now and again just to check that I'm not getting any banding. You can see slight tones in here and up here as well with the purple. So let's pull them back slightly and I'll take the saturation out of them. And that looks like them to be away now. Yep, pull back some of the red and pull back some of the magenta. Okay, I'm going to zoom in just to check everything's fine there. Yes, that's it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a tiny bit of structure in here. Not too much at all, just about there. And then I'm going to invert the mask so that I have control over where the areas that the structure is applied. So I'm going to paint here. And you'll see that appearing down here. I'm going to paint a tiny bit in there. Not too much at all. And just to show you where I've painted. Bring that to the edge there and bring that to the edge there. Turn off the brush. Next I'm going to add a new layer. This time I'm going to add, but I'm going to add the Autumn effect. And the reason I'm adding this is so is that it takes some of the structure out of the sky. I want the dark moody clouds, but I also want a slight softness in it and again I'm going to brush out the areas that I don't want it to affect so if I just paint there just paint across could use a bigger brush for this but I'll just for the purpose of this video I'll just keep painting I'm going to take some of the autumn effect out of here as well check that in my mask let's take a wee bit more out and just to keep us happy here. Turn the mask off. Turn the brush off. Turn that on and off just to see. Yep, that's just enough. Another layer. This time I am going to add a vignette just to draw our eyes in. And the vignette, I'm not going to go too heavy with the vignette, but just enough, just about there. That looks fine. And then I'm going to hit apply. Now, I'm quite happy with the image the way it is, but I want to add a small kind of autumnal effect to this. So in Photoshop, I already have an action applied, so I'm going to do that in Photoshop. That's us back in Photoshop now, and just to show you how we before and after. So it's just a subtle change with this one. The next one's going to be the major change. And here I'm going to go Ottoman Folder. That's an action I created, and that's where I'm going to go with it. Just going to play with this, just to get to a point where I'm quite happy with it. This I could do in Luminar, I'm just doing it in here for the speed of this video because I haven't created this effect in Luminar yet. And I'm going to go about there. Shift, Alt, Command, E to bring up a new layer. Then I'm going to go into Filter, Camera Raw Filter. And I'm going to add just a patch of light here. Take the radial filter, take it up to about 10. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to turn off the overlay just so that you can see how this is affecting it. So just about there. Turn the overlay back on so that I can move it up. Overlay back off just to check. What I will do. I'll also check for a vignette, touch more, 
while I'm in here and I've added the light there, I'm actually going to add just to bring out and emphasise in here as well. Don't want to go too far with this one. So again, I'll turn the overlay off. I could turn that right up with that and you can see where it's affecting. So I am going to go around about there. Just going to check how much that's affecting. So you can see it bleeds on here ever so slightly, which is probably negligible. But I'm going to take it out. Take the brush size up around there. Just paint around the edges there and through. Just maybe about there, just so it's at the sky. Can you turn the feather to about 50? Just so that the sky doesn't appear brighter in those areas. You're now going to focus on that now that I've said to you about it. Back into my edit, turn the overlay on, turn the overlay off, and then do it visually. And I'm going to go for around there. So that's my final image now from Photoshop, edited through Luminar, back into Photoshop, and that's that final image.